With the VRS real-time correction through TerraFlex, your device can be at its maximum accuracy in real time. There's two and a half requirements that you'll need in order to be able to use the VRS, and one is that you have an N-TRIP capable receiver. N-TRIP is Network Transportation of RTCM, which is a real-time correction protocol, by internet protocol. So that's where the point five comes in you will need an internet connection out in the field so that you can receive these corrections from the VRS network. I'm not aware of any NTRIP capable receivers in smartphones so you will need a professional mapping grade or survey grade device. And then the other one is you do have to uh, be working in or near a network so we've done something to help if you pull up an internet browser and go to compasstoolsinc.com you can look up in the upper right hand corner and click on tool belt and we did a little research and found all the available VRS networks as of August of 2014 and made a Google Earth KML so here's that KML so in order for a VRS network to work you have to be in or near it so we'll zoom in to the western slope of Colorado because this is a free one through Mesa County uh, and if you're in the network the network Taylor makes you a real-time correction if you're just outside of the network let's say down here in Durango if you're just outside of Durango it would switch to a single base correction and you would still get really good accuracy but when you get about I believe 60 kilometers is the cutoff. When you when you get a bit further away than 60 kilometers outside the network, uh, the real time connection just drops. But uh, it's great because you you don't have to post process your devices at the maximum accuracy. It is a big time saver. So the other thing is some networks are free, like the Western Slope of Colorado. Uh, most of them. Well, it's just a mix. Some of them are not. Some are $900 to $2,200 a year. Others are free. So you'll just have to do some research. And this map from Compass Tools is a good place to start. But once you've determined your network stuff, you do have to sign up. We'll, we'll use Mesa County again as a, an example. You go there and you uh, sign up you register with them pay the fee if there is a fee and they're going to email you back the information you need to connect to the VRS network so we'll jump over to our TerraFlex account and click on our organization real-time configurations and once you get all that info back from the VRS network you can input it here so I'll say add configuration I'm going to use this on a Geo7X which is N-TRIP capable. So I'll call it Geo7X VRS. And we're going to connect to it through the internet. So internet, N-TRIP, there's that N-TRIP we talked about. And then you input this information which comes from the VRS network. We we'll use the Trimble VRS now as an example. Uh, you could do VRSnow.us. That's a that's a valid URL, but we have had problems with that on some networks. So we actually recommend you use the the IP address, which for the Trimble network is this. And the VRS network is also going to specify a port. And then you click on this little NTRIP source and it shows you what's available. Uh, for the Trimble network, the H star is more accurate. And lastly, enter your username and password and you're good to go. Actually, you're not good to go. The datum is uh, very important. So we'll go ahead and click here. 
and this information also needs to come from your VRS network provider. Uh, the datum, if you get this wrong, your data could be shifted by uh, usually around three feet. All your data be shifted in one direction, three feet. So make sure you research the datum of your VRS network and specify it here. But after that, you can click Save. And the last thing we need to do is go find that. I called it Geo7x VRS and just link it to our project. There we go. So we're good there and we'll jump over to the screen of the Geo7x. Here on the Geo7x we can go to uh, GNSS status and see we're we're tracking 11 satellites which is great but we're only we're bouncing between 16 and 18 feet of accuracy so that's where the VRS network comes in uh, we'll go to our settings and real-time configuration and see that VRS is there so we'll pick our VRS if you do not see it you might have to click on the settings and sync real quick but then it should show up there and we can go back to GNSS status and VRS networks usually uh, send you a real-time correction fairly quickly you can see we're in use and our accuracy is dropping from 18 feet bouncing around a little here already down to 26 inches in a matter of seconds and after we get outside and start mapping for a while uh, this is a Geo7x subfoot so I'll see about 4 inch accuracy in real time so number one we signed up for a VRS network number two we input the information into our Terraflex web account then we synced and enabled it on our Geo7x which has an internet connection and now we're mapping it subfoot accuracy out in the field. So that's it for this recording. If you have questions, email them to support at compasstoolsinc.com or check blog.compasstoolsinc.com for more informational videos like this one.